the purpose of this video is to install Discworld Noir um, on a modern Windows PC using Windows 11 uh, in this case. And I'm going to show exactly how the installation is done and how the fix is actually applied. Okay, so what I have in front of me here is the three disks um, in ISO format uh, that were actually included with the original Discworld Noir when it was, um, when it was released. Um, back uh, in, in 1999 or so, uh, and it was intended for the Windows 1998 PC. So if you're watching this video, you've probably seen enough articles or blogs or threads really uh, highlighting that the, the actual um, installation is not uh, compatible um, with, the, with the modern systems. So effectively, um, what you need to do in a very kind of simplified manner is take these two files here and when the installation occurs you're to swap out these two files with the ones that are actually in this particular fix here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount the first uh, cd and so he's going to get mounted and i'll run him and then i'm going to go down to setup so i'm going to run setup and we'll just run him anyway And we'll just go install. There we go. So I'm just going to do that. So he'll just literally, he will go and install. Now, what I got open, which was very, very unusual, is here it says open up CD3. So if you get the same scenario, here's what I'm going to uh, basically say to you. So we'll go in here to eject then we'll go back again we'll go back to here number three we'll go mount now we have this squirrel off again we'll go okay Would you like to play this one or no? No, I wouldn't. It doesn't make one. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go back and into the PC. We're going to go eject. Okay. So now we're going to go back again to our ISO files. Mount. Back here. Perfect. Okay. So effectively, if you now go into your uh, into your PC, I've gone into the C drive. So I've gone into Discord Noir. You're going to find that the installation may not have occurred properly at all. Okay. So that's no problem whatsoever. So effectively, what I would say to you is that you go back into your CD, go into CD1, just go Control A, Control C, and then if we go back then. Do the paste. So again, we're in this location here. Perfect. Now we'll go back to the PCD. Now we're going to take all of these files here. We're going to do a copy. Sorry, into here. into the desktop, take these two files here, copy, so we're back here again, we're going to do a paste, replace the files, both of them, perfect, now, so what we're going to do then is, we're going to go here, we're going to eject, now we're going to go back to, we're going to go to number two, we're going to mount number two, here, 
control A, control C. Back into a disk one R folder into CD2. Paste. And then we're going to go back then to go to eject. Okay, and then we're going to go back to CD3. CD3 gets mounted. Control A, Control C, and we go back into the disk or our folder, CD3, Control V, there you go. Now, so what that should allow you to do is to actually play uh, disk or noir. So effectively then, if you want to actually run disk or noir, there should be no problems at all. And it's just, it has loaded up. The only issues I found are around the location of the mouse. That's effectively it. So there's there's nothing more to uh, to say than that. But the game itself uh, appears to be uh, completely fine for me. It'll work absolutely no problems. The key thing is that if the installation doesn't work properly um, there, then you just have to manually move the files um, as I did. But if you repeat this process, um, it works uh, perfectly 